Uh, good afternoon, I'm Lieutenant Brett Rodenizer with the Elijah County Sheriff's Office. I appreciate you coming out so we can provide an additional update briefing uh, to you as the media as well as our community after the overwhelming support and response we've gotten throughout the day as we've attempted to locate Mr. Paul Williams following a homicide that we responded to, a double homicide this morning in the Garrison Way subdivision. Uh, as we put out earlier on today, just after 8 o'clock, we received a request for a well-being check on the residents of a home in Garrison Way, specifically initially for a Miss Leslie, or she's also known as Leslie Williams. She's a 57-year-old female who went to Stephen Foster Elementary School. She did not come into work lately, and the staff at school became concerned for her. They attempted to reach out to her via phone. However, they were ultimately put in contact with Mr. Williams. Mr. Williams made a statement to the school personnel in some in substance, generally, that you need to go check on her. And then he, in essence, hung up the phone. Uh, the school resource deputy, one of our partners at the Gainesville Police Department, notified the sheriff's office because of where the home was. Deputies responded to that home, and when they went into the home, they found two individuals deceased inside. Initially, it was not clear who they were, and obviously we were concerned for Mrs. Williams as well as anyone else that may be there. Once we discovered them deceased and determined that there was no one else inside the residence, we sought and obtained a search warrant for the residence in order to preserve evidence and maintain our ability to prosecute and hold accountable the individual or individuals that were going to be responsible. While that search warrant was being, uh, was being obtained, uh, we were able to provide that initial information to the community to start looking for Mr. Williams. Obviously, we wanted to know what he could tell us about what happened inside the home. After serving that search warrant, we were able to go back in there and identify the two deceased individuals inside the home as Ms. Williams, as well as her 15-year-old daughter, Paige. Um, that part of the investigation, in terms of the manner, mechanism, and cause of their death is still under investigation, but what we can say at this point in time is they were traumatic injuries, and we knew right out of the gate that this was going to be a homicide investigation.